Given the graph x cubed plus y cubed equals 3xy shown to the right, which of the below is an equation for the tangent line in the first quadrant at x equals y equals 3 halves? So right there, tangent line. Okay, so the idea of tangent line is you find the slope, take your two points, you take your one point, which is a pair of uh, coordinates, a coordinate to pair, and you plug it into y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 quantity. So start by finding the slope. So the slope, we're going to want the derivative. And to find the derivative in this case, since we have a lot of x's and y's on both sides, it might be difficult to uh, separate them. So I'm going to try and use implicit differentiation. The idea is we'll take the derivative of everything. In this case, we're going to take the derivative of everything with respect to x. So I'll do 3x squared, then I'm going to write dx over dx, because it's kind of like the chain rule. We're doing the um, uh, derivative, multiplying by the derivative of the interior. And then when we get to y, we have dy dx, which is our slope, which is kind of what we want. And then here we'll use the product rule, so let's say 3 times derivative of x with respect to x times y plus 3, look at it again, just kind of get an idea, x dy dx. And so what we did here was, it's the product rule, but I kept the 3, I just, you could have pulled the 3 out and then put it back in, I just kind of left the 3 in this time, it might have been easier, I'm not sure. Do a little simplification here, dx dx, derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Yep, that looks reasonable. Now I'll get all the dy dx's off to one side. So we'll have 3y squared minus 3x dy dx. I took this right here, moved it over there, equals 3y minus 3x squared. Seems reasonable. And then solving for dy dx, we get... 3y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 3x. Aha, uh -huh. this looks pretty symmetrical. And we're going to say then as a final y minus x squared over y squared minus x. So we divided by everything by 3. So then make a little arrow. Do the whole dy dx of 3 halves, 3 halves. This gives us, bum bum bum, 3 halves minus, maybe a little space there as foreshadowing. Uh, 3 halves squared is 9 over 4, all over 9 over 4 minus 3 halves. Multiply by 2 over 2 to help with the fractions. And we have 6 minus 9 over 4, all over 9 minus 6 over 4. Cancel, cancel, equals negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. Which kind of looks like what we would expect here. We're like, oh, okay, everything looks very symmetrical, probably going to be a negative 1. So that seems like a reasonable answer, possibly even correct. Okay, so now throw it all into the formula. We have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. y minus, our point is 3 halves, equals negative 1 x minus 3 halves, because x and y are both 3 halves. And we have y equals negative x plus 3 halves, plus 3 halves. So the second 3 halves is the 3 halves I moved over there. And we get blue. Well, we don't get blue. We get an answer that's going to be written in blue. Except for the equal sign. That will be written in purple. So negative x plus 3. And just to rearrange it to satisfy my OCD, we have y equals 3 minus x. Which seems reasonable, because the 3 is the y-intercept, and negative x is the slope, 
So it comes up here to one, two, three, and then comes down like that. And see if that's an answer? Yes. Indeed it is. And so that'll be the answer. So that's how we could solve this. Uh, we have this graph. Um, and this is how we can use um, implicit differentiation to find a tangent line.